What is going on everyone and welcome back to Bush Garden. Tonight is Hallow Scream. If you guys know, I was here last year. Uh, they invited us last year. We didn't get to film inside the houses, but Taylor wasn't here. I was not here. And uh, this year, Taylor is here, obviously. She's standing right here, and I'm super excited because not only does she get to get scared, but we have special permission this year to film inside. So what that means is that I'm gonna walk behind Taylor, and you're gonna get to see her get I'm scared. I'm literally nauseous already. She is super nervous. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I'm like sick to my stomach. She might cry. <laughs> like that's how scared she I is. won't cry, but I'm like literally sick. <laughs> I'm super excited. It's uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I think they have one new house this year. They have a couple of new scare zones. And, it's all new to me. <laughs> um, if you guys are wondering, you can purchase an, like an all season. It's 22 nights for 89.99. Yeah. And uh, it's a pretty good deal. So I'm excited. Yeah. We have front of the line access tonight. So yeah. we don't have to wait in any lines, which I wish we did, because then we wouldn't have to do all the houses. <laughs> We're doing them all. I'm there's so only scared. there's only six houses, so it's it's not going to be hard to get them all done. Uh, I do like the scare zones, though, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm so excited. All right, so the event has officially started and that means that we are gonna start hitting the haunted houses. Now, what's really cool is that we have a pass that's gonna allow us to go through as many times as we like. So I'm hoping to get some good shots of Taylor scared and getting getting jump scared. You can see her face, she's <laughs> not happy about it. Cause I know it's gonna happen. But uh, we are gonna start at the Insomnia. If you uh, look at this map, we're gonna start down by Cheetah Hunt and we're gonna work our way basically counterclockwise around the park. Mm -hmm. um, and do at least all the houses once because Taylor actually has to work tomorrow. So she's not going to stay super late. I'm going to try and stay till it closes. And actually going counterclockwise is starting at one and going to the end. Well, no, because, this is, well, six and then one. Well, yeah, we're starting at the last one, but then we're going to go to one and then two, three, four, five. Yep. So six houses. I am going to try and keep my eyes open and... Uh, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm not even excited to film in the house. Like... I'm not excited, like I'm excited to be in the house, but I'm just more excited to be able to film Taylor walking through the house. I feel like, that's Cheetah, Cheetah Hunt. Hunt. And I think we might've mentioned this, but I'm not sure all of the rides are open as well. Yes. All the roller coasters. So you can ride those with probably minimal wait times, I'm assuming, because everybody's probably here for the houses. Yeah. But I feel like I'm on like Ellen and like, I'm being forced to go through these houses so that you no, no. can get video of me being scared. All right, that's enough talk. We need to go get this done. <laughs> or maybe they'll let us in now. Well, I'm not going in without somebody in front of me. That's not happening. Insomnia. Okay, yeah, I get it. I get it. Because there was like a lot of like beds and people were like waking up and screaming and people were like sleepwalking and it was like dreaming or something, but my heart is racing. I did not like walking with only those two people in front of me because you did not know when anything was gonna happen. It was so scary. Woo! Yeah. This is gonna this is gonna be a long five more houses.
So we just went through the Carpe Noctum scare zone. That was intense. It was uh, it was a lot of vampires and yeah. people trying to run away or kill them with wooden stakes. Um, but it was pretty legit. Like they were they were taking the actors down to the ground. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was it was it intense. Was crazy. It was intense. I even covered my mouth like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, so we are heading into the residence house. Uh, I think this might be one of the new ones. I'll double check that as we come out and let you know. But um, this is uh, basically, I think, supposed to be like a, a family inside of this house. I don't know. People are going to die. Great. Both figuratively and literally. I'm excited. It'll be fun. Oh man, that was awesome. Most of the boats of our own. Oh, that was awesome. Oh my gosh. No, you know the house is never over until you're actually out of the like exit line because stuff like that. <laughs> I think so far with these first two houses, like the storylines make pretty good sense. What I felt like I was taken out to the back barn where that's where they kill the people. <laughs> Actually, I think they were doing like some sort of sacrifice. The boats of our own. I feel like I'm walking through a house. trying to catch my breath here. <gasps> there were a couple jumpy parts that got me. Something in this house, so it was like kind of pirate themed. So I understand the name Black Spot now. Um, it was like you were in like a ship and basically they were killing everybody on the ship. Somebody was, I don't know who. Each other maybe? Um, but something that was really cool in that house is you were walking through this one room and it was like there were picture frames and they just looked like they were blacked out but then all of a sudden somebody jumped through it. So, it was kind of cool. They actually almost had like a mirror effect on some of them. Uh, yeah, but it freaked me out a little. So we're at the Smokehouse Cantina and we've got these short rib tacos. They come on a white tortilla. There is the short rib meat, cheese, pico de gallo, and cabbage. They're actually like two pretty decent sized tacos for the price and it was $10.99 for the two tacos and it actually came with a side of tortilla chips with queso. The short rib is really juicy and really tender. Sometimes that surprises us a little bit being at like a quick service or like somewhere where they're you know making a lot of that kind of food but it's actually really good. Gives you a nice texture with the cabbage on there a little bit of crunch and I mean, that short rib was very flavorful as well. Like I was really surprised when I bit into there and like got all those juices in there. It's really good. And I'm excited to eat it because it's big and I'm hungry. We're going to Motel Shelburne, AKA Motel Hill. So I'm sure this is gonna be real good, real great. <laughs> Legit was like a scary hotel from a movie and like 
I literally stayed in a really ratchet red roof in once. And that's what I felt like it looked like, even though it really didn't look like that, but it was still pretty bad. We're going through a real slaughterhouse. That was a tough one for me to shoot. Taylor was moving so quick through there. We had- uh, It was bloody and gory. It was very gory. They were filleting everybody, putting them in the mincer. There was a great uh, Kingsman scene. Yeah, the mincer. The mincer. Uh, that was good, but- And then all the Game of Thrones is what I was referring to. All the filleting. Oh, that's right, I forgot about that. Yeah. And I hated those scenes in Game of Thrones. That, I think that house last year was probably my least favorite one. It's just. To me, it wasn't as scary as it was like really gory and bloody, and I don't, yeah. I don't really care for that that much. But still, a good house overall. They scared me a couple times, though. They did. They definitely, definitely got you a few times. So we, we now have only one house left. Yes. It is like the, the the swamp bayou, yeah, or something like that, and that is what we're gonna go do. Yes. And then Taylor's probably gonna head out because she has to go to work. Yes, and then Josh is probably gonna go back through all the houses all over again. I'm gonna try. You have to go that way. Oh, it's awesome! Well, that is gonna do it for us here tonight. Well, it's gonna be doing it for Taylor. I'm gonna still yeah. run back around and do a few things. But... I think we ended on a good note. That was hilarious. The girl that was in front of us, I could tell she was scared before we even went in because she was like, my heart is racing so fast, my heart is racing so fast. I'm like, okay, great. She's gonna be scared the whole time and then she's gonna be screaming and I'm gonna be screaming. And we got like to where it was like a little more lit and like I think she thought it was over and she turned around and said something to me and then okay, somebody let's move forward. then somebody then somebody popped out behind her and then somebody popped out and scared me and then it was just like back and forth and back and forth. Oh my gosh, it was hilarious. It was great. It was great. She was down on the ground a couple times. <laughs> that so, was a, that was a good house to end on. It was. It was great. I um, recommend doing house number 5 last that was my favorite. Yeah. Scare-wise, um, that was my favorite. So, uh, one thing that I would say is that if you have not seen Through the Houses yet, um, you can find all of those. Uh, they have already or should have already been uploaded. Yeah. Um, and you can go through and you can watch them through. They're obviously not gonna all be in this video because it'd be way too long. Yeah, but, but you can watch all the walkthroughs. It was a lot of fun and I would highly recommend that if you're in the area or you're interested at all, come to Hallow Scream. Uh, yeah. Is it as great as Halloween Horror Nights? Maybe. It's pretty good. I think the scare zones are better. They're the longer. The scare zones are longer and I really like that. And they're way more immersive in my opinion. Yeah, at least this year they definitely were. Yeah. So. Cool. It's definitely an adrenaline rush. And if you think that you can't do this because you don't like scary stuff, I do not watch any horror films. I can't do that stuff. Uh, somehow I make it through going here, but you just gonna have to like laugh it off and be like, Haha, <laughs> that's hilarious that I just got scared. Yeah. <laughs> so let us know if you are planning on coming to Hallow's Scream here at Bush Gardens Tampa Bay.